One of the most annoying things about upgrading to a new phone is getting all your data transferred across. So in this video, we are going to show you how to make that process easy. We will be using the default Android backup method that is built into the Android system and you will need to have a Google account logged into your old device. If you don't already have a Google account, you can pause this video, go and create an account and come back here to follow along. Both of the devices that we are using in this video today are using Android 9, but the process should be the same for Android 10 as well. So let's get started. On your old phone, you will need to go to settings. You will need to scroll down all the way to system and then tap on backup. On this screen, you will notice the Google account that is currently logged in. And this is the account that your phone will be backing up to. If you wish to change to a different account, you can tap on the account and then you can select from the accounts available or you can add a new account. And then all we need to do is tap on backup now. Allow the phone some time to backup. Depending on how much data you have, this process could take a little while. So it is recommended that you have a good, strong Wi-Fi connection. You will be able to see the progress at the top with the blue line filling up, as well as in the notifications at the top. Once the backup is complete, you will be able to see this underneath the backup name. It will say zero minutes ago. That means the backup has been completed successfully. And that is all you need to do with your old phone. We will now move on to setting up the new phone and transferring the data. Okay, so for the second part of this video, you will need to grab your new phone You'll need to make sure it's turned on, select your language and then tap on start. You will need to connect to Wi-Fi for this process to work. So connect to your Wi-Fi network. And then allow the phone some time to check for updates. Once the phone is finished checking for updates, you will see a screen um, that says copy apps and data. So this is the process that allows you to transfer your data from the backup that we did earlier. So tap on next. And then you will see multiple options um, on the screen. It says bring your data from. So we have backup from an Android phone, a backup from the cloud or an iPhone device. So for the purpose of this video, we are going to use a backup from the cloud because that is the backup that we created earlier with the old phone. On this screen, you need to make sure that you sign into the same Google account that you used on your previous phone. Otherwise you will have nothing to restore. So I'm going to sign in. And once you sign into your Google account, you will need to read the terms of service if you wish to and the privacy policy and then tap on I agree. Now on this screen, you will see the different backups that you have on your Google account. So if you have multiple phones that you have backed up to the Google account, you can select which one you want to restore from. I use the Motorola One Macro before, so that is the one that I'm going to restore. Um, as you can see, that backup was created about 42 minutes ago, so that is the most current one. So I'm going to tap on Motorola One Macro Backup. You need to tap on the name of the backup for your phone. And then on the next screen, um, you're given the option to choose what you want to restore. By default, you have um, everything selected, but 
But if you, for example, don't want to restore your messages or your apps, you can untick those. Um, by default, your phone automatically syncs your calendar contacts and your photos as well as your Gmail. Um, I'm going to leave everything as is because I do want to transfer everything and then I'm just going to click on um, restore. The next part is uh, setting up your phone as normal. So just continue to read through the um, steps and customize it as you wish. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to skip setting up the um, unlock method. I'll do that later. And I'm going to skip setting up the Google Assistant. I can set that up later. And I'm also going to skip setting up Google Pay because I don't want to do that right now. And on the next screen, I don't want to set up anything else. I'm just going to choose no thanks. Have a look through the Motorola privacy policy and then continue. And then you will notice when you get to your home screen, um, you will have a couple of grayed out icons. Now these are the apps that are currently being installed and downloaded on your phone. You will be able to see the progress in the notifications. And that is the phone downloading and restoring all your data from your previous phone. Give your phone some time to download the apps and transfer your backed up data. Uh, once again, depending on how much data you have, this process can take a little while. So uh, just be patient and um, we will take a look back once everything has completed. Okay, so the phone has completed the restore from the backup and now we can have a look um, and check, make sure that, that our data is there. So on the contacts, we can automatically see that our contacts are synced through. We have um, all the photos have come through as well because they were backed up to Google Photos before and all the apps as well have come through and installed on the new phone. Now, if you do notice that some apps are missing, um, this could happen due to um, security settings. I've noticed that happens sometimes with uh, banking applications that don't restore on the phone. So if that is the case, you will need to go to the Google Play Store, um, search for the um, application and then download it from there. And we're all done. If you've been watching and following through with the video, you would have now successfully transferred all of your data and the process should now be complete. Now, don't forget to uh, subscribe to the channel and keep an eye out for future how-to videos and useful tips. Thank you for watching.